So what are the homeowner treatments that you could use against emerald ash borer? Well, depending on the size of the tree, there are two possible treatments you could use, a granular treatment or a liquid treatment. And the key thing in this situation with either of the homeowner methods is if you've got bark around, bark mulch around the base of that tree, go ahead and rake that mulch back two feet away from the treatment zone because once you apply the insecticide, if you put it into that bark mulch, it binds up into the organic matter and it cannot go deeper into the soil. If your tree is 12 inches or smaller, you could use the granular method. Here you just look at the product label for the size of the tree, measure out the amount of granules that you need, and carefully sprinkle those granules around the tree trunk, usually within 18 inches of the tree's base. If the tree is 20 inches or smaller, you could use the liquid formulation. Here, you just measure out the amount of liquid needed for the size of the tree, place it in one or two gallons of water, depending on what the label says, and then mix that mixture up, then carefully pour that around the trunk of the tree, just literally right around the base of the tree. Rinse your bucket out a couple of times with water and pour that around the base of the tree as well. Then in both cases, you'll need to reposition any mulch back around the tree. With either method, the homeowner should be wearing a long sleeve shirt, long pants, socks, and chemical resistant shoes for their protection. Some labels may require chemical resistant gloves and eye protection. In either method, whether it's a drench method or granular method, the homeowner needs to commit to yearly treatment of their ash tree every spring until that tree is larger than 20 inch diameter, at which time they need to turn that tree over to a tree care professional. When making a determination whether to treat your trees to protect them from emerald ash borer, the very first place to begin is to determine if you have an ash or not. So put down the newspaper, head out to the yard, and these are some tips that you might use to, to, to identify your, your trees.